Hi all, this is T and this is Joel. How are you doing today? You guys haven't seen him in a long time, right? Yep. I'm missing an action. I <laughs> came back. What have you been hiding? Taking care of the baby. <laughs> Buying, stacking and loading diapers. I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five. We got three. I've got eleven stacks of diapers and yeah. one underneath here, and then two more stacks. I've been stacking <laughs> diapers, organizing them almost to the to the floor. So we're good to go, right? Anyway, hi you guys. I hope you had a good week. Um, we're just coming to you today with a interracial tag. Um, this was something that I saw in another vlog. Um, uh, actually, it was by the Gabe Fix, uh, aka Gay Babe TV. Um, they are actually one of the couples that have inspired me uh, to start this vlog so with my family vlog. So I saw their um, interracial tag a couple of months ago, or maybe it was last year sometime. I'm, I can't remember, but um, I just thought that once I started doing my YouTube videos, I would like to also um, do the interracial tag because I thought it was pretty cute. So I wrote a series of questions. So you may see me look um, down periodically because I'm just reading some of the questions. And um, I'll go ahead and get started with our interracial tag. Ready, babe? I'm ready. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So the first question is, what is your race or ethnicity? Uh, my race, well, first of all, I'm American. But <laughs> I have family from Germany, um, Norway. Poland and a mixture of uh, English and French. So he's pretty much a mutt from I'm a Europe. Heinz, Heinz 57 mutt. Yeah, yeah mutt from Europe. So yeah, that's his ethnicity. And I am actually, um, I guess you say black Caribbean. I'm not American. I'm not, a, I should say, I am an American because I'm a US citizen now, but I'm not a born American. I was born actually in Trinidad and Tobago, which is the twin islands in the West Indies. Um, I was born there and at the age of seven, I moved to New York City, Brooklyn, New York, and I've lived there pretty much predominantly my entire year, life until I moved to Tampa, Florida, which is where we um, currently live. And I've been in Tampa now for about eight, eight or nine years. So um, yeah, I'm Black Caribbean and Trinidad and Tobago, and um, yeah. And you forgot to mention how you got your papers. Who Whatever. Got your papers for you? <laughs> Because, what, I got married to you, that's what got yep. out of my paper? She yeah. got my green Don't card. believe that, guys. Yep, Do guys. not believe that. I had my citizenship way before I met this one over here. What happened? This is the real story. I actually met oh. her in Trinidad. Uh, she was um, asking me to buy some stuff she was carrying around on, her, on the top of her head. <laughs> and uh, she had some different um, <coughs> artisan handcrafts. So I went ahead and I told her. And then I said, you know, there was a lot of chemistry there. And I said, well, you know, she's like, I, I need my green paper. I need my... Mm -hmm. Well, anyway... So I need my papers. But that was the alternative ending to the story, so I just wanted to pass that on. Okay. So thank you for that long-winded uh, explanation. But anyway, and again, guys, don't believe that story. He's just making up stories to make himself seem interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where are you from? Uh, well, I pretty much just said that where I'm from, um, Brooklyn, well, born in Trinidad. Uh, raised in Brooklyn, New York, and currently reside here in Tampa, Florida. Um, where are you from, Joel? I'm from Kansas City, the home of barbecue, the Royals, Yeehaw! Chiefs. Yeah. Yeehaw! Yeah, she, she hasn't been there yet. She's no, procrastinating. But yeah, basically, I'm from Kansas City, uh, born and raised, went to the University of Kansas. Go Jayhawks. Hey, you! Yep, which she likes now. She's a convert, so that's a good thing. And... We love our barbecue and we like to talk a lot. People over there, laid back. Definitely a different vibe than people from New York, Brooklyn, <laughs> right? Yeah, we don't mess around, people. Okay. <laughs> um, what is, what, what? Was it your first time dating someone outside of your race? Is this a trick question? I should say, was I the first person you've dated outside of your race? No, no, I had dated other people from different races, so I don't discriminate. <laughs> so, like Fife Diggy says, I love him, brown and yellow Puerto Rican Haitian. <laughs> so. Yeah, you're Baskin Robbins, right? You like I'm all, 30, Robbins, all yep. 31 flavors. Exactly, just like me. <laughs> um, the question to myself, no, um, or I should say, I have dated other outside of my race um, prior to Joel. I have dated... Um, 
Hispanics as well as whites, um, as well as blacks as well. I don't discriminate either. Um, but yeah, this is his. My relationship with him was not the first interracial uh, relationship. So no, I have dated other people um, out, outside of my race uh, prior to Joe. Okay, and what was what actually has been the most challenging, if any challenges at all? Um, dating outside of your race. Have you experienced any challenges? Well, we're not going to talk about the previous people, but since you've been with me, have you um, encountered any challenges? That's a really hard question. I think it's more being from different cities, really. Um, she's from New York. She's a little faster paced. And, and but feisty. I'm, but yeah, as far as interracial couples, I haven't had a problem with um, just walking around or contact with people. So mm -hmm. it's never been an issue for me. And for me, um, I, I can't really say that it has been any challenges. I haven't experienced any challenges. And thankfully, we are, um, you know, both of our families accepted us. Um, so that was easy because that can sometimes be hard too when you're dating outside of your race and there's a family, families or family members that may not agree with your decision. So I'm glad that um, that was really, really smooth. His family accepted me with open arms. My family accepted accepted him with open arms as well. So that would um, that pretty much would would be I shouldn't say a deal breaker, but it would be a lot more challenging to. Um, maybe stick in a relationship if, if you have close fr family um, family members that may not accept it, but thankfully that was not the case with either one of us, so we're good there. And outside of our family and friends, I haven't experienced any challenges at all. Okay, so, um, do you get dirty looks or stares um, in the, from public, in the public? Not at all. No, um, I don't, and if there is people that stare or get give dirty looks I just give them a dirty look back and say like what the heck are you looking at you know you know I'm not an alien he's not an alien I mean why would you stare at us what because we have different skin tones give me a break whatever but um the only thing that I I know that I have um where I have gotten stares from one recent situation that I can think of off, off my head right now and this probably was about maybe two or three years ago is when my husband and I we went to um a sushi restaurant in St. Petersburg, Florida, um, there was this older Caucasian lady and she sat right next to us, a table next to us, and she just kept staring at us. Um, and I'm just like, really? You have not seen an interracial couple before? Like, why are you staring at us, you know? I got to the point where I'm like, do you want something off my plate, lady? But, you know, that was the only thing I could think of um, since I've dated him. Um, that I can think of that was like a dirty stare that I could think of. But other than that, if people do look, I don't really pay attention because to me it doesn't matter what anyone says or feels. Um, it's all that matters is how he feel about me and how I feel about him and we love each other. Right, baby? Yes. Ah, you thank go. you. <laughs> do you plan to get married or have kids? Check and check. Yes, we are married. We've been married now. It's going to be four years on May 6th. Uh, we got married four years ago, and just recently we had a baby. So we added a little one to our family. Um, he was born on January 19th. His name is Xavier Alexander, and he's two and a half months now. So yeah, we've added a little, a little one to our our twosome. So now we are a threesome. So yes, we have um, a baby. We have been married. We are married, and um, I'm hoping to have at least one more. And that's going to be in the near, 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 near future. future. There we go. Okay. Um, okay, so they said if so, and this is if you have any kids, um, how do you think they will be perceived? So how do you think Xavier will be perceived being biracial? However he perceives himself, really. That's really Perfect just answer. tell him to be himself and... Just be comfortable with his own skin. Exactly. So there's a lot of times, there's a lot too many labels that people put on a person. And really, that's why I clarified at the beginning that I'm American, but I have European descent, but I'm American first. So mm -hmm. that's how I look at it. Yeah. And You're I mean, American, right? 
I am. Yes, yeah, I am. After I give you your papers, so that's whatever. Good. But um, for me, I I'm strongly gonna um, install both cultures to um, my son Xavier because not only is he half black and half white, he also has the history of my Caribbean background and his European background. So we're definitely gonna incorporate that as well. Um, so that he will be aware of all those different cultures that he has running through his veins, really. So, so we're going to always install um, great values in him and to let him know that you don't look at people for what they are on the outer side is what's in their heart. And if people don't perceive or like what they see in him, then he don't really have to be around them or be his friend. That's all I can exactly. think of. Exactly. So he's going to yeah. enjoy curry goat and Polish kielbasa. <laughs> Right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, is it different dating outside of your race? Uh, I guess it could be. I think how it's could more, it be? I think it's more internal. It's how you process the experience. So if mm -hmm. you allow other people to distort your perception, then that's how how it affect how you see the relationship or how you see dating. It's not Okay, that's a good, I like that answer. Anything yeah. else? Um, is it dating uh, different outside my race? Um, like I said before earlier, I've dated outside my race before. Um, it has have its differences, of course, you know. Um, I, 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 I don't know. That's, I just, I really just don't, yeah, I really just don't really think about it. At least when I'm dating a person, I don't really think about it. And I hope that person didn't you know or whatever but it's it's all about the person and how I feel about that person how much I love that person and to me what they look like on the outside doesn't I'm sorry on the um, yes on the outside doesn't really matter to me there we go yep um, do you interact with other interracial couples well I bet it depends on what interracial is, really. Mm -hmm. So I do have a, a soccer league for urban youth, and we have a mixture of that's it's a motorcycle driving by, but we have a we have a, a league with for urban youth, and we have a mixture of a lot of different kids, a lot of different parents from different backgrounds. So it's good to see, you know, the kids mingle and everything. But yeah, I guess some people are interracial, but I don't really let that affect who I hang out with. Mm -hmm. It's more about what's on the inside. Yeah. And I mean, we do have other, what you say, interracial couples, like people that I work with. Um, there's a good amount of people that I work with that are interracial as well. Um, pretty much in my department at work, uh, the majority of the women and they are mostly female, only one male, and we are all, uh, with the exception of two, um, out of the five of us, pretty much in an interracial marriage. We have Hispanic and black that's married, um, um, a white and black that's married, Joel and I. And um, yeah, I mean, we, we, but we don't really look at the person in the color and say, oh, well, this is an interracial couple. We have to hang out with them. Or, you know, this is a all black couple or all white couple. We're not gonna hang out with them. It just, it doesn't matter. That's, yeah, that doesn't really care. Now, what made you fall in love with me? That's a good question. <laughs> well, I have to start out with a story. Um, oh, we first God. met at Starbucks. Oh, okay, uh, that's a good. That's yeah, we met at Match. I thought he was gonna try to be funny. Okay, go ahead. No, we met at we met through Match Match dot com. So this is a thank plug you, Match. For Match. Yes, thank you. Uh, we went for coffee. Um, she was smiling a lot. I loved her her eyes and. Yes, her eyes. <laughs> and she was laughing just like that, and she was showing her teeth as well. So those were a couple of things that really, um, you know, really did it for me. And then when we actually went on our second date, we went to Bahama Breeze on the water. And every place we went um, on our first date, when we went to Starbucks, we saw a blue, uh, a blue sports car. So then when we went to Bahama Breeze, we saw a blue uh, motorcycle, like a one of those um, you know Suzuki big bikes and it had that same blue color so I told her and then what ended up happening was she wore that same color for her wedding and also for Xavier's uh, his um, 
his little party that he had before. That's right. Yes. So it was a really wow. cool theme. I didn't yes. even think of that because yeah, I did my my shoes uh, for our wedding. Um, of course, I wore a raw, traditional white uh, dress, but my shoes were royal blue. And um, for our son's baby shower, it was uh, the little prince theme, so it was blue, uh, royal blue and gold. So you're right. Wow. Yeah. So these are all just, and then his now his room all is all coincidences. Uh, all coincidences, but now he has a blue. Well, turquoise blue um, bedroom, so it's pretty cool. So yeah, I guess blue. And those were color. really all coincidences. Wow, I didn't even think about that. About so the I think whole... you like the color blue, even though you say like purple and pink. Yeah, purple is my favorite color, but yeah, that's, that's I didn't I hadn't even thought about it. That's really yeah. good. Yeah. I'm really impressed that you even thought about that. Yeah. And um, also, she's very sweet. She um, she likes to cook, you know, six times a year. No, but seriously. <laughs> No, but we have a good time. We always joke around and I give her a hard time. And she's, yeah. a, she's a sport, so she can handle my... Even though she's from New York, she can still handle all my joking. Mm -hmm. So she's tough like that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but um, what I, what I um, like about my husband, um, and I'm so proud to say that he's my husband because he's such an awesome guy. I love him to pieces. Um, but what really um, made me fall in love with him is his heart. He has a huge heart. Joe, huge. huge. <laughs> he has a really big heart and such a sweet guy. I mean, I haven't encountered or got in, how can I say, or actually came in the presence of anyone who has not liked Joel. Everybody loves Joel. Like the TV show, Everybody Loves Raymond, we should have a TV show for him that says Everybody Loves Joel because truly it is like everybody gets along with Joel. There's not one person that he does not get along with. And if there is a, that person that comes around, then it's that prob that person is a problem, not him. Believe me, no, he's I'm the he's so sweet. He's mm -hmm. very social, social, and I notice that with my with our two month old, he's very, very happy, go lucky, very social. He loves to be around people. Anyone can hold him. He doesn't cry. Like, and I pray for that. I pray that when I was when I was pregnant with Xavier, that he would have Joel's personality. And so far, I see that in him, and I, it makes me proud and um, to see that characteristic in him because that's the thing that I love about um, Joel and that I fell in love with him for his personality and, my and, strong his, genetics. And, his, and his pretty green eyes strong genetics right yeah he has strong genetics yeah, there we go. yeah so <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this vlog um, I try to make it as short as possible it went a little over than what I wanted it to but I still hope you enjoyed it and I hope you watch it to the end and if you have any questions or comments just definitely let me know we'll be happy to um, maybe add anything in another video if you guys have any you know anything that you would like to see us do so if you are an interracial couple out there and you're doing YouTube videos I'm gonna tag you so I want to see your video next um, but other than that I hope you have a great weekend and we'll see you again soon take care bye right. bye